Just shy of 40 years I've been operating equipment and I've probably been operating a shovel about 30 of those years. I was kind of born into it. My family had a logging company back in the 50s and my dad retired in late 70s and I just hit the ground running, wanted to be a logger and have been one ever since. Uh, I've been with DNS Logging for a little over 20 years now, and they've grown a considerable amount in that time and really have some outstanding modern equipment on the job site. The western half of Oregon, the trees just want to grow here. A lot of this ground is being logged for the third time. Reforestation is really a big deal because timber has become so valuable. A lot of people are turning pasture land back into timber land. It's a very sustainable resource. The community really benefits from all the jobs that it provides. All the cap machines are a joy to run, but I'd have to say my new favorite is this machine right behind me, the 558. It's a productive machine, just every aspect. It's just fast, it's powerful, it just ups the game, gets, gets you more productive. Having a really great last series 558 with low hours on it, it's like I was running a great machine. And then I get in this one and it's like, wow, they really did it right with this one. The single bar grousers are a big advantage to shovel logging, getting around. I actually think there's a lot less impact to the ground because you're not spinning as much. Draw bar pull on this machine is the best I've ran so far. It just wants to go uphill, downhill, wherever you point it, it goes. The responsiveness is great and it does have a slightly different feel than the old pilot system joysticks, but it's still very smooth. This machine's definitely more stable than the previous 558. I noticed, especially on slope, swinging wood down below me, I could swing with the boom extended further out away from me and bigger turns. It's definitely glued to the ground better. Even loading trucks, I noticed I can grab a couple big 40-footers in the grapples, and if I'm loading on a hill or something, and it doesn't feel tippy at all. I've had a side entry cab in the past, and this rear entry cab just feels much safer climbing up and down off of the machine. I do appreciate that. The cab is roomier. I do really like the three-point safety harness in there. When you're on steep ground, it gives you just a nice level of comfort. It has really good lighting all the way around when you're out logging in the dark, which loggers do that a lot. We're out working half the night sometimes, and good lighting when you're out in the brush. Like, yeah, I can see good. Makes a big difference. Downtime kills us. We have so little downtime on these machines, it's just hardly never have a problem. Peterson is very good about service and working with us to inventory whatever spare parts we need and the guys are just always checking up on us and what do you need, what can we do. The service is really good. I think that's one of the reasons DNS has stuck with CAT for so many years. It's pretty competitive business and we have to get production and we have to move wood. With the fuel prices that have gone up the way they are, the amount of material we move per hour is really important. If you want to get a lot done and not have a lot of drama doing it, CAT's just a good machine.